Welcome, I am Ignacio Fernandez Llorente, Professional Polo Umpire. In this video series, I will explain the rules of polo as presented by the Hurling and Polo Association, usually called the HPA. In each of these videos, I offer a good amount of selected examples of actual fouls to those rules on the field. With these examples, you can learn the equivalent of more than 20 years of polo. So I recommend you watch them carefully, as I believe they show many interesting details that will positively improve your game. In this video, we shall see how to write off or take a player, dangerous riding and intimidation, as defined in Article 35 of the HPA rules. 35. Riding off. Dangerous riding and intimidation. A player may not ride in a manner which creates danger to another pony, player, official or any other person or which places the welfare of his own pony at undue risk. A player must ride off shoulder to shoulder, saddle to saddle, and may push with his arm above the elbow provided the elbow is kept close to the side. The most important thing, saddle to saddle, shoulder to shoulder, not using your elbows, elbows not to the body, same speed. A player with or without the ball can be ridden off at all times within the limits of the field. There may be several pairs of players riding each other off simultaneously. It is very important not to use your elbows. Elbows must be stuck to the body. Here we see an elbow fouled by red. Same thing here. Elbow fouled by red. Medium white. We must begin by riding off without crossing. As in this example, the player is riding on the line of the ball and another player is waiting on the side to try and ride him off without crossing the line. Then yes, he can ride him off. 35 back. Riding off. Dangerous ride. In particular, a player may not re off at such an angle or speed as to endanger a player or his pony or unbalance the pony. Let's see speed. Here number two picks up some speed and an almost still blue player throws his horse at him. No, he must carry the same speed. Angle and speed. No, that's a foul. A white player with different speed and angle causes an accident, putting his own self in danger and falling off the horse. The player in red with different speed and angle, oops, he almost fell, fouled by red. Huge foul, very dangerous, too much angle. Another angle, if the blue player didn't check, there could have been an accident. Out of the play, on an angle, foul. 35B. Riding off. Dangerous ride. In particular, a player may not ride into an opponent in front or behind the saddle. Nor can you make contact behind the saddle or on the rump of your opponent's horse. Cannot ride off on the rump. That's a foul. Not even tap on the back of the horse. It is dangerous. Another tap to the back and at different speeds. That's dangerous. A blow directly behind, foul, saddle to saddle, there's no other way. To the back, on the rump, big foul. Here a blue player rides off in front of the saddle, foul by blue. Thirty-five C. Riding off, dangerous In particular, a player may not ride an opponent to cross or into the row of another player at an unsafe distance. Let's see this green player. He pushes the blue player into a crash. It's foul by green. Purple pushes orange into a collision. It's foul by purple. Let us see this. Out of the play, green pushes light blue into a collision. That's a foul. The other green player was riding away by himself. The player in red pushes black into a collision, foul by red. Purple player forces green to cross the line and to collide. It's foul by purple. 
The light blue player pushes red to cross the line. That's a foul. 35D. Riding off. Dangerous right. In particular, a player may not ride off an opponent who is already being written off by another member of his team, sandwiching. A player in pink rides another one in red and causes him to run into another pink. It's fouled by pink. Two players closing up on each side of an opponent is not okay. A sandwich is a foul. Hooking and riding off is okay, but riding off with two players is not. Thirty-five G. Riding off dangerous right. In particular, a player may not ride his pony from behind into the forehand or backhand stroke of an opponent. A white player is going to swing on his near side when blue pushes his horse into him. It's foul by blue. The player in yellow takes the opposing back, coming parallel to the boards. The light blue player accelerates and it's on his offside. Foul by blue. Here the blue player positions his horses for the offside instead of the near side. A red player wants to avoid a back shot by putting his horse in. Foul by red. And here the player wants to hit on his offside but finds an opponent horse's legs. It's a foul. And here, a player in red wants to swing on his offside when pink intimidates him. Foul by pink. 35 age. Riding off. Dangerous riding. In particular, a player may not use his pony to spoil a stroke by riding over the ball and into an opponent who has already started the downward swing of a full forehand or backhand stroke. Note. This does not prevent a player from riding over the ball on a legitimate ride-off when an opponent is tapping the ball or has not started the downward swing of a full forehand or backhand stroke. Pink. You can ride off on the side of the ball is, but every time you do this, before the movement of the swing is initiated. And it is lawful to ride off on the same side if the player is just tapping the ball on the mallet side. Yes, you can. In this case, the player is tapping and can be ridden off, but if he were descending the swing of a backhander, it would be a foul. This is the difference. Right off at the time that the swing has started is a foul. And if the mallet is descending, it is because the ball is there and it's about to be shot. So, when the mallet descends for a swing, you cannot ride off, but you can when the opponent is tapping. Here we see the player in green getting ready to shoot backwards, but he finds white. It's fouled by white. Here, white rides off of the swing. Yes, before. That's perfect. Now, a player in green has the ball and is ridden off by blue. Perfect. It's very clear how the play changes and blue now has the ball. It's a very good defense. It has to be used. Here, Gray rides off prior to a shot and gets the ball. Terrific! Here, a player in red is tapping and gets ridden off by white. Excellent! Same here, blue rides off and then shoots a backhander. And here, white rides off before the shot and blue misses his chance. White right off, hits back, that's perfect. Otto thought he could keep it tapping, but White thought otherwise. He rode him off and keeps the ball. Excellent! Number 4 rides off and hits a backhander. Fine. Blue rides off before time. I insist, pay attention to where the ball is. Again, the player in red riding off on the side of the mallet turns the defense into an attack. It's very important to come from the side and ride off. You cannot come from behind and brush. That's a foul, as seen here. Let's see. Green brushes by blue. It's a foul. 35 I. Riding off. Dangerous riding.
In particular, a player may not zigzag in front of another player in such a way as to cause the latter either to have to check his pace or risk a fall. You cannot zigzag in front of a player carrying the ball, as in this case. This is a foul. It is very dangerous. You cannot zigzag trying to impede an opponent to play. It is very dangerous. Moving forward to one throw, really dangerous. Consider this, he gets in front and almost fell. 35J. Riding off, dangerous ride. In particular, a player may not pull across or over a pony's legs either in front or behind in such a manner as to risk tripping either pony. Player in green dangerously gets in front of red. The player in green crosses the front of red to impede him going forward. Dangerous foul by green. Same thing here. Black fouls red. Very dangerous too. A player in black carries the ball and white bumps his horse from behind. It's fouled by white. 35k intimidation. In particular, a player may not ride at an opponent in such a manner as to intimidate, causing him to pull out or miss his stroke although no foul actually occurs. The player in black carries the ball and white invades his space, making him look up. Foul by white. The player in black is on the line of the ball. White steps in and intimidates him. Then black misses his shot. It's foul by white. White shoots the ball. Blue comes towards him, threatens. That is bowling. Foul by blue. Okay. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you found it interesting, see you in the next video of our series, and why not, on the polar field.